Every day, we observe many objects around us which are in the shape of a circle. For example, wheels of a cycle is the best one to observe. Also, the next example would be a simple wall clock in your sweet home. And the next would be the plate on your dining table. And many more are in the shape of a circle. Now, let us say that I am jogging around in a circular park. Now, how do I find the distance that I ran? Yes, by tracing my path. I just have to calculate the perimeter or the circumference of the path. So, let us derive the formula to find the circumference of a circle. How do we do that is quite interesting. Did you know that the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter is always constant? Yes, irrespective of the size of the circle, the ratio of the circumference to its diameter remains the same. And we represent that ratio by a Greek letter pi. Now, pi is a non-terminating and a non-recurring number. In other words, I can say that pi is an irrational number. For ease of calculations, we approximate the value of pi to be 22 by 7. So, pi is equal to circumference by diameter. Now, to find the circumference of the path, we need to know the diameter or the radius of that path. So, let us say that the radius of that path be r. Now, its diameter will be 2 times of r or 2r because diameter is always twice the radius. So, I can say that pi is equal to circumference by 2r because diameter is 2r, right? Now, on rearranging these terms, circumference will be 2 pi r. This means the circumference of a circle will be 2 pi r. Now, coming back to the park, the radius of the park was 35 meters. Now, to find the distance that I ran, it will be equal to the circumference of that path. Now, how do you find the circumference of that path? Well, simply substitute the values in the formula 2 pi r, where r is 35, pi is 22 by 7. So, after simplification, this value comes out to be 220 meters. This means the circumference of that park was 220 meters if the radius was 35 meters, which will be equal to the distance that I ran. Now, if I ran for 10 complete circles, then the distance ran by me will be 10 times of 2 pi r. And 2 pi r is 220 meters, right? So, this will be 10 into 220, which is 2200 meters or 2.2 kilometers. And how do I find the area of the circle? Well, for that, let me take a delicious pizza and arrange the slices right next to each other. What do we get? Well, it's a rectangle, right? Now, can you tell me the length of the sides of this rectangle? Well, its breadth is simply r because this is nothing but the radius of a circle or the pizza. And what about the length? Well, if you carefully see, the circumference of the pizza will make the sides of this rectangle. Thus, both the sides together will be 2 pi r. And thus, each side of this rectangle will be pi r. So, this side will be pi r and this side will be pi r. Now, this rectangular pizza is actually obtained from the circular pizza, right? This means the area of this rectangle will definitely be equal to the area of that circle. Thus, area of the circle is equal to pi r square. Now, if the radius of a circle is 14 centimeters, what is its area? Well, simply substitute the values in the formula, area is equal to pi r square, where pi is 22 by 7 and r square will be 14 square because r is 14, right? Now, after simplification, this value comes out to be 616 centimeter square or square centimeters. So, the area of this circle will be 616 square centimeters. So, guys, we just recall the basics of the circles in no time. Stay tuned for some interesting stuff on these circles that we will come across in the upcoming videos. Goodbye.